Um, so two days ago, I was really busy with work, so I didn't really have time to make anything for lunch. So I was like, uh, I guess I'll order something to eat. But the only thing that was really open at the time was McDonald's. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll do McDonald's. And then the day after that, there was a huge sale on Domino's, and my mom was like, oh, let's go, let's get some Domino's for the family. And then today for dinner, I was gonna have something good, something healthy, but um, my my father was like, you want McDonald's for dinner? I was like, well, I guess if, if everyone else is. Uh, so as of today, I am banning myself from having McDonald's for the rest of the year. Thank you for watching. If you ever hear me on stream or in a video mention that I had McDonald's, please just call me out, shoot me on site. This is, this cannot continue, I literally feel like death. Anyway, after the um, very stressful <laughs> um, showcase of Genesis, <laughs> uh, we're going to be going into the last deck that I want to feature from this first set of break rides, which is Liberators. Uh, so, I did make Liberators. I am missing the one... Uh, should I even use Spectral Duke anymore? I was testing this build, but maybe... Maybe it's not worth it. Give me a second, I'm gonna put the Alfreds in. For some reason, I thought to myself that I already changed the build because I was testing the Duke one, but I was like, ah, it's not not, not, not that great. But anyway, uh, here's Liberators. Arguably kind of, well, being argued as the weakest link right now, but definitely gonna be getting stronger over time. Liberators have some interesting tools. They have two good break rides. So one of the Arkami's break rides doesn't feel as great, but uh, Gold has two. First is Ganslot. I only managed to pull three, and I'm not really in the mood to like grind materials to make a fourth one, so... Maybe I'll like spark it or something at some point, or just craft it if necessary at some point. I don't know. Maybe when Zenith is close, I'll, I'll worry about it. But for the time being, we have three Gancelots. Uh, so he's, his Limit Break ability is when you're right on top of him for that turn, he gives you Vanguard plus 10k power and three of your rear guards plus five. So you have to like keep your back row kind of ready um, because your intercept will get, will get attacked into. And then if the Vanguard that you rode is a Liberator, then you can search your deck for a Blaster Blade Liberator and add it to your hand. If you don't have any more Blaster Blade Liberators left in your deck, then you can add it from your drop zone instead. So that's a really cool ability uh, that got buffed. Basically, you know, he's a Soul Saver for free. And on top of that, you get to search yourself a point and click retire, which is pretty good. On top of that, when he attacks Vanguard, he gains plus 3k. So that's one break, right? The other one is the Bleoberis. So when you ride on top of him, you count plus one this time, and then your Vanguard gets plus 10k, and then you call the top two cards of your deck. So that's really strong. Uh, being able to call the top two is definitely very good. Let's you kind of loop break rides too, because this one generates advantage, whereas this one generates just power. Um, and then, of course, you also have like the optimal ride target for Ganslot, which is the Freed. So Freed says, Limerick 4, when you ride him, Kalmas 1, call the top two cards of your deck. So you can resolve this in the order of Freed, calls the top two, and then Ganslot buffs them up. So that's what you can do. So he's kind of useful as a, like, you know, you're not necessarily like first, like, or like, uh, second grade 3 ride target, but can be the one after that. So we can like loop break rides for a bit and then go into this. Um, Alfred, unfortunately, is not that great. He's mostly used as a rear guard. Uh, his Limerick 4 says when he attacks for that battle, he gains plus 2k power for each of your uh, liberated rear guards. So he can go up to 21, which is pretty nice. Um, but then his other skill is Vanguard Rear Guard Circle. Kalamas 2, look at the top four cards of your deck and call a liberated from among them. So he's so average. I was trying out other things um, and definitely like cut one Alfred for the for the additional uh, fourth can slot for sure if you have them um, but that's kind of the great threes we're going for uh, the Liberator Barkle, sorry, Wingle Liberator, sorry, not Barkle, is really, really good. Uh, when he boosts the Liberator and the attack hits a Vanguard, you put him into the Soul to search your deck for a Blaster Blade Liberator. So that's like no cost, no counter loss, nothing. Just put him in the Soul to get a Grade 2, which is really good. Going second, if you hit, you get to like just search a Grade 2 if you didn't have one already, so it fixes Grade Stuck. And on top of that, like it's. It's a Riga guard, so it's pretty cool for that reason. And of course, Blaster Blade Liberator has two arts. Uh, one of them is the Gacha one, so that's the one you're probably used to. And then he was a ranked reward at one point. Looks very beautiful. Um, so his skill is Vanguard Riga guard circle when placed. If your Vanguard is a Liberator, you may count on two and retire one of your opponent's rear guards anywhere. So it can be the back row, front row, anywhere you want. So it's pretty good. Um, he'll definitely be uh, more useful in the future because later on we're going to get Barkle Liberator, who is the grade one that I think counter charges when you call a Blaster Blade Liberator. Let me, let me check that right now. Oh my god, I'm still dying from the McDonald's. That was not a good idea. 
I don't know, it wasn't counter charge. That's I'm thinking of something else. Uh the counter charge is is something else. Barker Liberator basically makes it so that after he boosts a Blaster Blade Liberator, he looks at the top three and calls a Liberator from among them, and then um, puts the rest in the bottom. So that's pretty cool because he doesn't even put himself to the soul, he just literally calls out new units, which you can use. Uh, you can't use to attack because he calls them as rest, but they might change that for zero, so we'll see. But yeah, okay, so never mind. You don't get to counter charge, it's not like Doran, but you know, for shadows, but never mind. Then we have 12k attacker, Pharon, when you have a Liberator Vanguard, uh, 10k Vanillas, Galatin, and then finally, I'm running two of the uh, Ryanet, Lionet. Uh, he's pretty cool. He's basically a the, the Narakami, like, grade 3 fetcher. So, when his attack gets a Vanguard on Vanguard Rear Circle, count must one look at the top five cards of your deck and add a grade 3 from among them to your hand. I feel like running a couple of these is pretty nice, purely because, like, you want to be looping break rides and eventually go into your freed. You don't really want to, like, search your freed because he's your heal trigger but like you don't mind searching the um the break rides but yeah and also running we're running some stands we're running a few stands um just because that's kind of like outside of retiring stuff with blaster blade liberator there's no other way to make multiple attacks so you gotta make them somehow <laughs> and because you're getting power on your rear guards thanks to Ganslot, you can basically do that pretty consistently on top of that speaking of power we also have bruno this will be a very very useful card in the future uh when your other rear guard is placed from the deck if your vanguard is a liberator for that turn he gains plus 3k so this stacks of course so every time you spear call something in your turn it will gain plus 3k which is pretty cool uh, then we have marin which is the 10k attacker when you have a liberator vanguard then we have the liberator mark so that's the perfect shield. I think it's pretty good to run. And finally, Josephus. I think Josephus is pretty good. We're doing a lot of top deck calling. Josephus says when he's called from the deck, if your Vanguard is a Liberator, you may soul last one to draw one card, which is very nice. He's a 7k body too, so he's a strict upgrade to Dindrain, and he's definitely going to be very good throughout the history of this deck as it keeps upgrading over time. So this is kind of like the weakest rendition of the deck. Um, definitely like the base set Liberators are pretty weak. Oh, you know what? I want to change the sleeves. Yeah. Yeah, wait. Go. Please leave. Thank you. Oh, it didn't give me an error message. Usually it does. I want to change the sleeve. Some of you all might not have seen them yet, but they added uh, two new Banger Zero Championship sleeves. So we got the the water ones, which are like whatever, and then we got these ones. These looks these look real good. So I'm gonna equip them. They fit with the gold theme pretty well. I feel so. We're gonna use that gold banner. I can't wait to see what the autumn ones look like, and then the winter ones, they're probably going to be like a nice kind of, because these ones are like more ye like yellowish, goldish, so maybe they're supposed to like reflect the summer. So hope we get, ooh, mirror match, okay. So unge jankore. It's like, what a, like, it's kind of saying like what a luck game this is, which isn't, isn't too nice. Shouldn't swear in your, in your profile. Um, I guess I'll keep the Alfred. It's better than not riding, uh, than not having a grade 3 to ride, but at the same time, it's the least optimal one. I guess I'll keep it. Worst case, it's gonna be a rear guard that works. Never mind, we got our break rides. Okay, so we can change those a little bit, and then maybe at some point draw the Gans a lot. So we're gonna play a mirror match. I think that's pretty cool. We're going first, too. We got the BBL as well. Uh, Blaster Blade Liberator. Because of how long the name is, um, is usually shortened to BBL. And then Blaster Dark Revenger is usually shortened to BDR, so that makes your life easier. Shortening names definitely makes life easier, trust me. <laughs> like, like the only the only name shortening that people <laughs> didn't use that much is King of Knights Alfred, because it would just be Cock Alfred, so it's kind of like, <laughs> maybe let's not do that. Uh, even, in, even in Japanese, I think they don't. In Japanese, they generally don't, like, you know, shorten by letters, because it's not really a thing in Japanese. <laughs> He hits a crit, which is interesting. I could ride Blaster Blade and just pop a starter though. Oh, three of my four stands. <laughs> Never mind for showing the stands in this game. I might not be able to show anything. <laughs> no, it should be fine. All right. Uh, so let's see. I think I'm gonna just go for it, honestly. Unfortunately, as you can see, they forgot to add the Liberator animations. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I mean. The animations in terms of, like, card effects are there, but the animations in terms of, like, you know, <laughs> like, cut-in animations aren't there for Liberators, even though they're, like, scattered all over the anime. So I'm not really sure what they were thinking about. Wait, stop. Don't do that. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> That's very, very rude. You're not supposed to do that. Alright, I'm gonna search the BBL, uh, just because of the deck thinning for the time being. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need grade 2s eventually anyway, so for the time being, it's okay. Um, hopefully we can pop a heal at some point, um, after that crit. 
kind of always hope for that. And calling these up here, I think, is pretty nice because now that we didn't give him the second counter loss, that means that he can't use BBL of his own to pop my intercept. So he has to, like, call two rears. Um, and that way we can start, like, chipping away at his hand a little bit because this deck doesn't really start superior calling until later turns. Um, Alfred is a non limit break superior caller, <clears throat> but it's, like, you know, not that useful. He's running the trip, which I think is cool, um, personally. What he can do here is go with the Escrad. You, you notice I don't run Escrad. I do have Escrads, but I think he's literally just... He's just a more restricted Vivian, which I... Mm, I don't know. Is it really worth running? But Trip is definitely an interesting uh, card to run. You can run instead of the um, Lionette that I run, but I don't know. It's like the deck itself, you mostly don't use the Counter Blasts like... Like, this is probably the first time I've used Blaster Blade Liberator. Like, I'm being honest. I'm actually being honest. It's probably the first time I've used this skill um, in this mirror match. So, you know, make of that what you will. And even though I have 4 damage here, I'm not going to ride the Alfred yet. I'm going to just go into the Bliobaris and just kind of go to town from there. Yeah. I kind of want to use the Alfred here, just because if I can get a Yosefus, as an extra card draw. So I think I might want to do that. So it's going to be kind of bursting through my Kettle Moss, but I'm going to just see if I can get a Yosefus out of it. I can't. But I can get a Grade 1, which is kind of nice. That is indeed kind of nice uh, for later turns. For now, though, I just want to get the Intercept, to be honest. Or just this. Yeah, let's just get this for now. I can put it behind the Alfred and just swap positions and then, you know, just set up Intercepts. Because uh, right now it's a bit difficult. So let's just do that. And see where it goes. Definitely want to check a heal soon. And so, like, using Alfred there is also, like, deck thinning furthermore. Um, because it's not, like, random top deck call. It's calling literally, like, from a top four. So you get to have a bit more selection in your calls. So you can hope for triggers a bit better. There we go. Just as I requested. It's the, the delivery man. I'm glad that he's bringing me heals instead of McDonald's. <laughs> I'm going to keep mentioning this video. Man. Am I not? Like, God. Okay, he's got three cards in hand, uh, he has two counterbots, which means he can use his Alfred, um, but even if he does, I think I'm okay. So he's probably going to run Gantelot here, uh, normally you want to, yeah. I'm surprised he had more, because he checked one at the start, checked one there, so he probably doesn't have that many more. It's kind of weird, like, his card is Shining, but it's not SP, so it's like, hmm? Oh, he's using the Blaster Blade instead, that's interesting, so he's not choosing to use the Alfred. Instead, he's not going to set up a second combat, so he wants me to give him Limit Break, I guess? Maybe? Um, whereas on my side, I can loop my Break Ride skill now, because he will put me to 5. I'm going to get a draw, too. That's pretty pretty good. Bruno? Okay, Bruno. I see you, Bruno. Alright, this will hit. He gets plus 3k on attack, so this does hit 21. Perfect numbers. Escrad checked, and I want to see them with heals when I'm so far behind on damage. Alright. Ah, uh, Joseph was coming through, but not the zone that I want him to be. Neither in my hand, nor my damage, nor my drop zone. Just please be at the top of my deck <sighs> at all times, but not when I need to draw you. All right. We do the Bleoberus, Bleoberus. Please don't be two triggers. <laughs> please. Oh, it's not actually. It's not. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, PG's fine too. I don't really mind. Um, call this here. I need to set up a double intercept or I'm gonna die, I think. So I need to look like call this here. Keep the Alfred in the back for now. Um yeah. Keep the Alfred in the back for now. Just call the BBL. Uh we're gonna go rear Van Van. Or I can go rear rear van and just not give him the four, and he'll be out two cards in hand, so he can probably he probably won't be able to do much about it. I think that sounds like a good plan. I think that sounds like a good idea. I'm just gonna take away his rears and just try to heal. Try to heal out of this, I guess. Uh, I'll just take out the Alfred now. I'm not going to try to like play any mind games. Just going to go for the swings. So this way we have double intercept. He has to maybe promote the Marin. Um, and then if he does, I can take it out later. So we don't check any triggers, but we have double intercept and we have a PG in hand. So we're pretty alive. He whiffs the heal finally. I wanted to see this. I was afraid he would check a draw or something. But he's running, he's running draws on Alfred, crits on Gancelot, and everybody runs this heal. We haven't really seen the last grade 3 that he runs, but, I mean, let's see. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we have. What's cooking? What's popping? Oh, the game audio might be a bit quiet. Okay, he promotes the Mariners as I expected. Uh, now what does he do? Alfred. 
Yosefus, no PGs in hand. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? If I check a, if I if I draw a grade three, it might be over. Ah, uh, maybe I should have called the Yosefus in in hindsight and put the PG behind Vanguard. Called the Yosefus on the side so that if I can break ride this time, another whiff deal. <sighs> this is big. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So even if I don't check a great, if even if I don't draw a great three here, my Vanguard is gonna be twenty one with a seven k boost. I can make an eleven k column and then I need like a somehow break sixteen. Ah, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still, it's still okay. We can make an eighteen k column here, and then we just make a thirteen k column here. <sighs> I think I have to go, like, I think I'm going to lose if I don't win here, so I need to probably go in for the win here. Uh, mm, okay, here's what we do. Call this to make 21. This will be 17, so it still hits over, you know, the damage. His triggers are 7. It's a bit over half. Alright, well, we don't really have a choice. Oy! Okay, okay, just double trigger, please. Just check double trigger here. Okay, there's one. Okay. Okay, just one more. Just one more. Ah, and it's not even a trigger. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I had to call that PG anyway, so maybe if I didn't... Ah, but I mean, it was right in theory. Because if he didn't hit the defensive there, it would have been game. He had zero cards in hand. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. And even if it was the different order, I would have gone like 13, 16, uh, 17, and then this would have been 21. If it was 26, I would have like one trigger passed. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Retiring the Bruno. That's actually not wrong. I still have two heals left, so maybe I'll just casually pop them both. You never know. Or like draw into PG here. Well, I mean, it's Marin. Not quite. Uh, but here, I mean, I could still heal. So let's see. <laughs> let's see here. Ah, Gatsalot! No, you can't. You can't just do that to me. All right, that was the first time I've seen this losing Aichi. That goes to say how uh, how much I play with uh, Liberators. <laughs> but anyway, not so good first game. Um, hard to say why. I'm kind of struggling to think why. I think it's that early crit definitely pushed us pretty hard. Um, on top of that, maybe my counterblast usage was a bit off. I never really felt star for counterblast to be honest. Though, so I'm not sure if it. I feel like. Popping the um, was popping the wingle right. <clears throat> That's the only thing I'm asking myself. But anyway, gonna play against Narakami. So Narakami, Narakami. Okay, this hand is much nicer. We're gonna put the heal back. We can just loop break right here. Um, just keep this. Keep this. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Mr. Alfred is very happy to visit me today. Uh, the nice thing here as well is that we can basically dodge his Linchu. Because we essentially get to, because we're going second, we can just put this in after it hits. Because it doesn't need combat, so we just put it in, and that's it. So, it's pretty good. So, we're looking to pick up that fat W here. Okay, we got two stands in hand already. I will not depend on the stands. Ride the Yosephus, and call this here. And we're going to dodge the Linchu by... I mean, but how far can we dodge the Linchu, I wonder? Anyway, we're gonna dodge it anyway. Oh, wait. Ah. Mm, ah. Uh, uh, um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm gonna be at eight cards in hand. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. We don't mind. We don't mind. <laughs> we take it. We take it. I like how it's been consistently searching this exact, my only animated rank reward <laughs> blaster plate liberator. I appreciate it. Game, you're doing me a good one. You're doing me a solid. All right, let's continue. Let us continue. So he has he has that perfect setup for. Uh, oh yeah. Mm, okay, draw. Draw is fine. I I check one too. If anything, I hope I don't check one here because then I'm gonna overdraw. So, whew, okay, we're good. Nine cards in hand at the start of the next turn. So we're still kind of chilling. Um, I'm thinking here how I want to play on my turn. I feel like I might. I'm gonna let him kill one of my grade ones. 
That's what I've decided on at this very moment. Man chose his destiny. So we're gonna do go double Galatin here. We're gonna run out of all our Galatins in one instant. Called the Yosefus because I don't really mind him actually being destroyed that much. Uh, I'm just gonna push him to three here. Optimally. Optimally. Whew, okay. <laughs> the repeat of last game didn't happen yet. Alright, so... Rising Phoenix going away, that's also pretty big. Um, you know, seeing those... Um, uh, Zuitans... Your name is Zuitan, right? Yeah, Zuitan. Um... Zuitans always, you know, kind of tells you... They're probably running a lot of... Well, I mean, they're gonna be running Zuitan anyway. But, you know, running Zuitan immediately lets you go for that Rising Phoenix play. And there you go. He could have had the double, you never know. If he could have used that Linchu, it would have been a double Rising Phoenix. And he... Well, that is too much card advantage for my brain to compute right now. <laughs> the, the number is two. My brain does not want to compute it. Uh... Oh, okay. So he's kind of inviting me to give him Limit Break. But at the same time, I can pop his Intercept, which he might not be cognizant of. Oh. Okay. Uh, that still gives me two damage to work with. As long as he doesn't pop a heal right here. Perfect. Okay. Doesn't hit. We're at two. Pretty nice number to be at. Um, and he doesn't get to pop my inters, my rear, my grade one. Never punish, baby. Um, in this case, I'll still go for the Bleoberus. I feel like it's still the better ride. Mm, mm, yeah, I feel like it is. So here, what we're going to do is, I'm going to call this here. Mm, I'm going to call it here and pop the intercept. And I'm going to try to just end it right now. I will give him Limber Break by that, but I'm, I'm going to be giving him Limber Break this turn anyway. So that doesn't... literally that's nothing. Um, there's no point to like worry about setting up Intercepts against this deck either, because like they can always pop them. Yo, Don't do that! <laughs> Every time, man. I now have the choice to not give him Limber Break, but he's, as he's not Break Riding... Um, yeah. The game plan does not change. The game plan does not change. Okay, we stand this. I'm gonna stack all the powers on BBL here, and maybe with a double trigger. It was my mistake for getting my hopes up. I, excuse me. Did I uh, did I do something wrong? Excuse me. Excuse me. Did I uh, did I do something wrong? Excuse me, sir. Oh, well, I guess with this we have avoided his limit break. Not sure if I'm happy about that, to be honest. <laughs> I, 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 I was kind of prepared for it anyway. What trigger lineup does he have? Four draws on this, I assume. Four crits on this. Why is everyone running crits all of a sudden? Interesting. Okay, thank you, attacker. And that's the third heal. Okay, so <laughs> that leads me to believe that he will not be heal spamming anymore. Um... Ah, uh, here it's kind of nasty because... Oh wait, he's gonna give me Limber Break, so it's actually not that nasty. Because he's probably gonna take out my grade 1 behind Vanguard with the Linchu, is what I assume. You can draw. As long as it's not a PG you're drawing, you can draw. I'm fine with that. <laughs> that was close. There's not a very high chance that... Oh, well, actually, I don't know. With, with Zero, you never know. He's not using the Linchu. Okay, he's holding back. He's holding back, I don't have to commit more grade 1s, and I'm gonna replace exactly two units on my board now with this ride, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Alright, Bleoberus, come through, my friend. Hey! Budeikuraido! Godlike? Excuse me, godlike? Godlike double intercept top deck, that is godlike. Wow. I like saying godlike. It's one of those things that you feel like you hear kids say these days, but then it kind of sticks to you, you know? You probably don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's pretty good. We can just go do the same thing as last turn. Just try to end him as long as he doesn't chuck a damage trigger right here. Perfect. Okay, we go for 16. We could even use the effect, but I'm not going to do that because otherwise we're going to get pretty counterblast starved. Okay, he checks a draw, but I'm hitting him for 31, so I didn't really mind to begin with, and that should be fine. Okay, so let's see here. Worst case, we get a PG out of his hand. We whiff a heal, uh, but I'm, I was prepared for that anyway. We might check a stand, though. Never mind. 
Okay, he had a PG. So he has one at the bottom, one that he checked, and the rest is is a mystery. But I mean, that's that's less PGs that I need to worry about. And I still have a stand left in deck. See, if if I had four Gantz slots and just one Alfred, I would put that as a stand, and I would run five stands, I think. Because I don't know, like the deck generates enough advantage when you're on Limit Break four, so because you can just keep superior calling. Uh, so he's gonna pop that. And I don't think he can pop my other one. He needs to have another one of those grade twos. Zuitan is not gonna pop it. But he's gonna use that. Oh, I was hoping he would pop the Alfred. <laughs> I was like, just, just take the Alfred away. I don't care about him. Just take him away. Uh, so here, he's gonna take out. Yeah, that that intercept there. And then he's gonna attack with a. Uh, probably attack with the Vanguard first. Maybe not. Maybe Zuitan first. Yeah, Zuitan first. Push me to five. Uh, but that takes away one heal he could have proc'd that he now can't. But I guess he only had one heal left in deck anyway, so that's technically not wrong. And then here he's gonna attack with a crit. Three crit. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what to... Mm. Anyway. We continue. So now I don't have Kalmas to use BBL if I do check him from here. But Joseph is maybe, please? Just... <laughs> Porque? <laughs> but why? <laughs> but why? Can I, can I not call it? Can I just put, put them back? Just keep them on top. Just keep them on top, honestly. I, um, thing is, I want to call the Grey 2s in my hand, otherwise I think I'm dead. Is that my last heal? No, I still have two more. Um, Yeah, do like this, I guess. Wait, do I? No, only one. <gasps> um, that does not make me feel like a happy meal. Um, Pray for us. And I don't have any left. Ay. <laughs> Ay is all I can tell you. Uh, we try again. We try again. If uh, Just not one heal, I guess. But three triggers stuck together? Very low chance. Unless... Unless all the Josephus I needed you there. If you were... PG would have saved me too. <laughs> I'm just saying. PG would have saved me too. Ah, he hit that. I mean, if he can hit his last heal, surely. Surely so can I. I'm certain of it. <laughs> yeah, this this game has been very much... Um, I remember there was a comment... Oh, yes, thank you. There was once a comment that was like, Oh my god, dude. Like, you're always praying for triggers. Praying for your opponent not to draw this, not to draw that. It's like, what a, what a luck game. And it's like... I mean, yeah, but... You know, for for it to not feel like that, we're gonna have to get rid of the 5k defensive mechanic, <laughs> or we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get to G, where the 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 scaling of the combos goes beyond triggers. <laughs> that's 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 what we need. Uh, mm. Seriously? So if I would have dug a bit deeper into my deck, I would have gone Josephus into a PG. Oh well. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Just to give it that... I did 8 damage that game. 8 damage in a game? And I lost! <sighs> okay. One more time. Let's try one more time. Aqua Force, okay. Okay. This guy's name is Fuku. Alright, going first. I mean, my Barkle is safe in this matchup anyway. Until we reach Maelstrom. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go for this. Oh, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. We're consistently drawing that right target Yosephus, which I'm don't know how I feel about that, but I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm, oh, there's a blueberries. Really, really sounds like blueberries when you think about it, but let's not think about that too much. I don't think it's healthy. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to just ride the Yosephus as always, past turn. Uh, next turn, ride the... Uh, what's your name again? 
sir, sir. Pharon. We're gonna ride the Pharon. And then we're gonna probably search Blaster Blade Liberator there. I might start holding onto it a little bit more. But half the time when I call it down is because I need an Interceptor. So it's like... I don't know. But anyway. Let's try something big here. There's nothing big. I don't know why. Sometimes... I don't know, maybe other content creators can feel this, but sometimes you just want to say something, like, try something big here. There's nothing big to try. We are literally, at turn one, swinging Vanguard only. There's no combos happening, there's nothing intricate going on. It's literally as <laughs> dull of a gameplay as it can get, but there's something big going on here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have the option here to push two damage, but I'm not sure if that's a s safe decision to make. I feel like I'll get punished for it, so I don't think I should. I'm gonna just pass and swing. I might hold off on searching the Blaster Blade for a turn here, so I'm gonna keep the booster behind Vanguard for one more turn. Um, he could... Mm. See, if I would've called down the Pharon, at least I would've been 19 case. I would've still hit over this, but, I mean... Regardless... Regardless... Let's see what he rides. Especially, I wanna see if he rides... Ah, okay. I was kind of hoping he would ride, like, um, uh, Basil or something. Because then with Basil, it's 8k, so you can kind of just, like, poke it all the time. Sick. You know, I I said no more McDonald's for the year, but I I even bought the Frappuccino because I was like, oh, it won't fill me up. <laughs> just because it doesn't fill me up doesn't mean it won't make me feel garbage. <laughs> anyway. Also not sure if that's a good idea to be drinking a Frappuccino at... 9.30 p.m. <laughs> I hope I will fall asleep easily in two hours. Oh, BBL. We can't search you anymore. We found the copy we always we always find. That was not a legitimate sentence. I still like the Blue Barris uh, first ride, because I feel like it's really, really strong. I think I'm going to go for it. See, here, he thinks that Basil is safe. But I, on the other hand, I know that it's not safe. So I think we should show him that it's not safe. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I say to the camera that clearly cannot respond to me. <laughs> um, is that greedy? Am I gonna get choked on Calabast? I might. <sighs> Maybe it's not important. Maybe I should keep it for later. You know what? I'm gonna trust that instinct. I'm gonna call the Pharon. I'll call. I'll keep the BBL for a bit later, I guess. I can always. It's like I can always call it there, but. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna search. I'm gonna search the BBL here from the Wingle skill, for sure. <gasps> no, I didn't call a booster. I, you know, I'm so not used to running stands that when I do check a stand, I'm like, <laughs> you know. So if I called the Bruno there, I could have done an extra attack here, but I wasn't really going for like giving him limit break that easily. But he probably has a self damage in hand, knowing Aqua Force. They always carry like you know, twelve of them in their pocket. They just whip it out whenever they need it, so though this is definitely one of those times. Um, but I guess saving on Limerick doesn't really matter that much because he's gonna he doesn't have anything to retire. So if I had called the Bruno there, he would have. Uh, but let's see, can he pull it out of his pocket? Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, he can. Uh, that will be an empty swing though. That eight k into my. I mean that. Ah, if he calls a booster, yeah, never mind. So you can go van, rear, van, van. That's... Hmm. Heavy. Huh. Eh? Huh? What did he... Count was for? Hmm? Did he count up? Huh? Bit confused. Not sure what just went on, but... Never mind. Um, I have no perfect cards in hand. <laughs> this might not be a good thing. But let's see. Draw into PG? Draw into mm, not a pg but it's okay anyway how big are you you're s uh, uh, 25 five stop there don't go up <laughs> i said don't go up <laughs> don't go up i said yo, 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 yo. don't do that you already draw enough you draw from your own skill that you gave to yourself <laughs> huh <laughs> excuse me <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I have a question. I have a question. Did he put back two triggers? Did, did, it, did 
Uh, he did not. Okay, at least that. Mm, Yosef was... Mm. <laughs> well... No animation. That's so weird, man. That's one thing I, I just don't... I don't get. It's not that I don't like, I don't get. Alright, double Yosephus. I mean, it's still pretty good. Double Intercept is just about as great. Now, do I want to pop his Basil? Theoretically, I can do double Blaster Blade Liberator. And that's kind of spicy. And just try to end it there. But he has a 7 card hand. I'm pretty sure he's drawn into a PG by now. He has 0 revealed, so probably... Maybe I should just pop the Basil? Can I even live? Maybe. If I heal here and draw a PG. Uh, I'll take the Basil off for now. So we're gonna push one damage. Mm, yes. 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 Oh. <laughs> you know, sometimes I will like. I'll be like recording a video and someone will follow me on Twitch while I'm offline and then it just pops up in the video. <laughs> it's kinda interesting. Uh, this is here in case we check the stand so we don't get punished like last time. Okay, we have the double intercept that's about as much. Oh, wait, no, that's not why it's there. It's there because I need to hit a 10k vanilla. <laughs> of course. So stands, if you can wait for one turn, that'd be great. The four heals, though, y'all can show up any moment now. The, the door is open. The door is open. You're welcome. The PG... So... <sighs> yeah. You know... You know... You know... You know... Sometimes it's just... You have to present three losses to YouTube, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it just has to happen. And... As long as you get to kind of show off what the deck does, it's fine. You know, it's not news to people that this deck is low tier for now. It doesn't really do anything exceptional outside of Superior Call a bunch. Less so than Azel. And then do less than Azel. And that's fine sometimes. Heal? Thank you. But then I need to check a second one. Because that Maelstrom is too big. But maybe, maybe if we do... There's three of you guys. Three of y'all chilling in that stack of 19 cards. And I've checked at least four cards to the bottom of the deck by now. Five, I think. So maybe. Alright, well, we can we can pray. Bruno, you're gonna suffer a terrible death regardless, but... Whether I will or not, that is still up to fate to decide. So please... Help the YouTube gods and show me yourself heal trigger. Dun 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 dun. Hmm. You know, you know, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it really is fine. As long as you guys enjoyed the fights themselves, even if the outcome wasn't great, that's all that matters. And I got my VP. As you can see, it's close to the end of season, and I haven't even reached the 10 pack one yet, so gotta hurry it up. But, you know, I have a feeling that no matter how many games we would play, it wouldn't go too greatly. But regardless, this deck will get better. There's gonna be Garmor. Garmor's gonna be pretty good. But on, most importantly, there's gonna be uh, Ganslot Zenith. And that Ganslot Zenith will be great. It will be a good card simply because it multi attacks. <laughs> it creates multi attacks, and that's all we want right now. And that will definitely help. But for the time being, this is the list. Um, you can run trips if you want to. This is kind of like my version of the deck, but. Definitely feel free to make improvements. You can play four Brunos if you want to as well, and cut either a Josephus or a Marin. I mean, you would think that by running four Josephus, you would hit him on the superior call more often, but it's more often that you hit him on the ride and the damage than anywhere else, but that's just how it is, my friends. But yeah, I feel like the trigger lineup is pretty good though. Um, I never really felt like I was running out of resources, and you know, with the draws. Um, so the stands definitely work in your favor, I would say. But there was definitely that one misplay where we could have. Technically done an extra damage, maybe I should have gone for that. Maybe you should surrender to the fact that you're going to be given... Like, they're going to give themselves limit break anyway, so just push them as much as possible. Uh, but it's always after the games that you start thinking those things rather than during. But anyway, on that note, I've been keeping you guys here for long enough already. Hope you hope you enjoyed this regardless. Um, the deck will get better over time. We'll definitely revisit it. Uh, I pulled a lot for it, and I really like the way this Blaster Blade Liberator looks. And I like Cancel Out Zenith for some reason. I don't know why. I always felt that that card was really good looking. I think it was like the best looking Cancel they ever printed. But anyway, on that note, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. I'm just trying to 
enjoyed the game, which actually somehow after after a little break, I've been enjoying it more. You know, even with games like this, I'm still enjoying it. But on that note, that's going to be it for me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Or bye-bye is what I should say. Bye. <laughs>